I've locked 16 YouTubers and streamers on an island for 5 days to compete for 1 billion GP, including myself. Hey, how's it going? How this works is out of the 16 creators, two completely random teams were chosen of 8 each. These teams will be called Tribe 1 and Tribe 2. Each tribe with the help of an official completely custom room light plugin will be locked into trading only their specific tribe members. This plugin will also block the ability to see anybody in the entire world of RuneScape besides their tribe members and the opposing tribe, making them completely alone on the island of Zaya. There's no help outside of the help of your tribe members allowed whatsoever, and they're not allowed to leave Zaya at all. The tribes will have the same five days starting at the same exact time to make as much progress and level up as fast as possible, starting with a completely fresh level three straight off tutorial island. The way the winning tribe will be chosen is simple, a best two out of three, which will be decided on these three factors. Highest conjoined tribe total level, highest conjoined tribe bank value, and a final PvP battle. Now with the rules and judging factors announced, welcome to Tribal Mode. Today's video has been done in collaboration with NordVPN. In case you didn't know, if you're not using a VPN yet, that's like trying to defeat Jad without prayer. NordVPN offers the best VPN service out there, protecting your data, personal information, and location from hackers, internet providers, and governments on all your devices. So you can be protected even while playing OSRS on your phone while using NordVPN. You can choose from 5,200 servers in 60 countries, allowing you to change your virtual location at any time. Don't worry, you don't have to sacrifice speed for better security, NordVPN gives you both. And it's not only your data being protected 24-7, but also your bank. NordVPN means no more DDoS attacks or malware-ridden links, a problem that's been affecting the OSRS community for years. Thanks to our collaboration with NordVPN, I have a great offer today. A huge discount and four additional months to your two-year plan. Just go to NordVPN slash BoomEpicKill or use code BoomEpicKill. Thank you again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the tribal mode action. The five-day countdown starts now, and the competition has officially begun. This will not only be a race for time, but a true test of teamwork. I'm expecting quite the interesting challenge. Which tribe are you picking to win? With everyone lined up and the competition about to begin, the first thing I'm going to do is attack one of these seagulls here on the dock and start getting combat experience immediately. Hold well, on, Steve. We got five and five. <laughs> uh, just right, nice uh, dust. <laughs> nice troll, bro. <laughs> this is DD fucking imagine. I'm just gonna go to the team most fun to take it down. Don't really know where I'm running to right now, but as long as I'm ahead of everybody else, that's all that matters. Uh, so the only game plan that I've come up with here, guys, is to rush Winter Tut. That's probably what I'm assuming most of these people are doing. So I'm gonna run a little bit further than everybody else just so we can get some more trees to ourselves. So I'll just do wood cutting for now until I come up with a solid plan of what to do. Having only five days in total for this competition, we have to do everything as efficient as possible. I'm surprised no one just turned and talked to uh old boy right here, dude, for a quest. Oh, sh <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just saw everyone turn around and start heading back that way. <laughs> All right, I lied to you guys. I already changed my mind on what to do. So, uh, for starters, I forgot to start the Klein of Corinne quest. We all were so worried about getting ahead of everybody else that we all literally forgot to start the Klein of Corinne, which we can utilize the lamps, the XP lamps we achieve from completing this quest. But for now, since I'm here on the docks, um, I'm going to do some pickpocketing so I get five thieving and then we can start stealing from the keg stalls. All right, here we go. Five thieving. Luckily, I had enough food. I only used the food from Tutorial Island. Three HP left. Shout out to the Tribe 1 teammates here. Uh, they totally helped us out. They got some feathers right off the rip, which you need a feather for a client of Corinne. So those boys definitely helped out. Good teamwork right off the rip. I like to see it, guys. Keep up the good work. We should have did this on, like, PvP worlds, like a dead man mode. <laughs> That'd be I'm thinking about that for something in the future. Oh my goodness, we got ourselves a Molly random. Boom. Hopefully we get some good gems from this. Hopefully it's something better than sapphires. Four diamonds, that is huge. Oh my goodness. Okay, that'll help. 
Oh, someone just died. Tribal lamp. I see his bones. <laughs> hey, pick them up and bury them. Get prayer eggs. Oh. We don't mess around here. He was he was trying to okay. get some cakes, dude. I <laughs> probably got Fucking clapped noob. out by the guard dog. <laughs> no, it's funny. The guy just walked up to him and said, "His sidious noobs," and then he dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's just disrespectful. <laughs> Jesus. That's funny. Twenty thieving guys, which means. I can go do the Queen of Thieves quest if this guard would stop attacking me, Jesus. Alright, I'm an absolute freaking genius. 50 coins. This guy at the general store sells a machete, which is a huge boost from the starter weapons from Tutorial Island. So that's going to help out a lot once I do some melee. Only piece of Clue Hunter outfit we have access to, but this is going to be a warm piece of clothing for Winter Tot once we get to that point in time. But, all this running around Zaya makes me realize how badly we need agility, so I'm making my way to the new Shazian agility course. I'm gonna knock out 18 agility because that is a quest requirement and it will help me out. Hey everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and it is time for Tribal Mode. I'm currently making a fresh account, and I'm going to have 5 days to do the best I can with this account to try to make it PvP ready. Not only PvP ready, but just total levels and overall bank value is gonna matter too but uh we don't have to go right to Zaya. there's it's Zaya only restriction but there's a couple of things that we get to knock out before we go to Zaya. we did decide that we get to do x marks the spot which really was a very big deal pretty much every single quest that you can do on Zaya, you first have to do x marks the spot this is druidic ritual complete uh that means we can do herb lord and finally we got to go for five agility before we headed over there there's a new agility course that requires only five agility in the shazian rework welcome to the winner's point of view of the event the easy peasy win plan right now is i'm gonna do some mining feed mr buff my rocks and he's gonna get level 15 smithing and then he's gonna plus one boost smithing to make iron axes gonna feed the team all of iron axes and then we're gonna rush winter top with like five or six people iron axes is like 10 percent 15 percent better than a bronze axe so we should get their mass before them assuming they're doing the same route all right well uh pretty embarrassing but i have uh, i've managed to die so i gotta make my way on back and this is going to be the start of the adventure, woodcutting. Half the fucking team is trying to grief me for logs. Where's Noct? Watch this. Watch this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's faster than me. <laughs> He's creating fires. <laughs> they put a fire in his path. Get that tree. Get that tree. Don't let him get that tree. I'm bro, just going to I'm gonna thieve a couple times. <laughs> He's decided to <laughs> Kill the man. Kill the man. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, there we go. I got him. Dude, if we nice. get home, like, that's him. So huge, you guys are well, so toxic. I guess we, I guess we figured out which team's more so toxic. toxic. <laughs> no way. Yeah, he's killing the man and I'm thieving. Who is it? Who is this? It's is tribal. It like a... he's, his name is Grief. So what do you Oh, no. He's well, of, really course, that's of course he's griefing you. Oak logs. I could sit here and play with myself. So one of the very first things I did right off the bat was start client of Karen. And now I need to kill chickens in order to get feathers. To see if it's broken or not. Hey, and there is Klein of Karen. The very man. first one. I'm also putting the 20% favor in Pisk just so I can do Queen of Thieves and not have to waste time in GP. The Queen of Thieves quest requires 20 thieving, so my method is going to be pickpocketing men until 5 and then doing cake stalls until 20. Whilst a lot of my other teammates are rushing Winter Todd for total levels, bank value, and in hopes to unlocking the Tome of Fire, I've been designated as one of the main PKers for my tribe. Meaning I need to get my combat stats up for the final PvP battle. And not only will me focusing on combat stats be good for the PvP battle, but I can also farm higher level monsters on Zaya and feed the rest of my team gear. There it is, 18 agility, which means whenever I do the Depths of Despair quest, I have that requirement knocked out of the way. Some nice total levels as well, but now I'm going to go finish Client of Corind. Don't let Dust do anything RNG related. Wait, Dust, you're specifically... <laughs> Named with RNG on our list. Did you know I had a 99 fire making Iron Man? No tome. Stay away from Winter Time. <laughs> Yo, I like how this all. <laughs> we have Dust on our team who is like, you know, he has the worst RNG in the world. And then the other team has Teletubby King. Like, if you're not familiar with his content, he has like a f twisted bow and like all this other crazy sh on a PvP locked hardcore Iron Man. Two polar opposites. Bro, level 5 mining, gaming. That's the first inventory done. There's another full inventory. Another full inventory done. Very nice. Another full inventory done. Yo, 50 mining, boys. We can now mine iron rocks. Whee! 
Now we need to mine a bunch of iron ores. Look at all these bronze bars. Boom. Hell oh, yeah. Boom. There's 20 iron ores in there. Sweet. Are right, gonna finish the quest? Thank uh, you. First things first, I got 20% Arceus favor so I can get a fire staff and runes from the shop. Everyone's sending Winter Todd. I'm gonna be doing something a little different though. All right, so I can only buy two staffs because we can't hop worlds, but the boy Lamp has hooked me up with some silk that I could sell. So I got two fire staffs for now so that we can have warm clothing for Winter Todd. All right, we got 15 smithing. Got the iron yeah. axes, boys. You got 15 smithing? Well, I got 15 thieving. Gaming. Yo, there he is. Big buff dude coming in with the iron axes. Got iron axe. Thank you. Two? You're at the current heart yeah. is what you're saying, right? Now the fun part. Get all the way to level 55 making with an iron axe. It's going to take a while, but we're going to make it done. Oh my god, look at these noobs with their bronze axes. Real chads with their iron axes. I need a bunch of silk, and I'm waiting for the 30 minutes so I can sell it back. So I'm just going to get 30%, I think it is, Shazian favor, which is very important because I want to be able to do 40% for organized crime. So that should take about 30 minutes. All right, one more pack, and boom. 40% we can do organized crime now. I don't know if I'll be going to Wintertown at all or if they will be doing it. I mean, I think we have more than enough people there. So right now I'm just fueling my team, grabbing a bunch of cakes and some logs so that they can have a good old time once they head on over there. At the moment, 600 cakes. Um, I did end up dying, I think three times total. Yo, Tubby out here offering to give me some logs on the way to 50 fire making. It's gonna get me up to that winter Todd life a lot faster, so it's helpful for both of us. Oh my god, guys, got business. See what we get. Three, two, one. I got a spirit seed. That's so rare. Yo, another business on my little road to fire making. And we get. Oh, I got a willow seed. I don't. That's any good. I see Tubby heading over to the bank. I'm gonna grab whatever logs Tubby has and start fire making with them. Combined, we have pretty close to 50 fire making worth of logs. But by the time that I light. A pretty good chunk of these logs. He'll have the rest of the logs that he needs. All right, quick little update. I've got 688 oak logs and we're at level 37 wood cutting. I'm going to give all my logs to Ed right here because this guy's already at like 43 fire making. Uh, with the rest of these logs, he should get to 50 and then get straight to Winter Todd. Uh, we want to be the first to get to Winter Todd. I'm being as efficient as possible, guys, here. I'm going to get 100% in the Arceus favor so I can utilize the Dark Altar Home Talib um, by switching over to that spell book. All right, here's the last couple of books for 100% favor. Uh, this should give me to 15 magic. Let's see. Yep, 15 magic off 100% favor. Not too bad at all. All right, just finished the decline of Corinne, so I'm going to put these lamps onto Slayer. Now, the reason why I put them onto Slayer is because it's actually the only skill on Zaya that we can't actually train. So if we have those extra total levels uh, ahead of the other tribe, if they don't use the lamps on Slayer, that could help us out in the long run. Who knows? That's my train of thought anyways. Hopefully it plays out pretty well. We'll end up seeing at the end of the event. <laughs> Dude, I'm watching Boom get absolutely <laughs> slaughtered. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what's happening? Oh, he's, to, like, he's getting oh, absolutely... <laughs> Dude, that thing's only hit fives on him, bro. Oh my... Yo, we have ourselves a... Uh... It seems like they've relocated cutting by the castle, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we pushed them that. We pushed them out. <laughs> After about 10 hours of walking, there is the Queen of Thieves completed. And Queen of Thieves also completed 2,000 thieving XP and 2,000 coins. And you also get the memoirs page, which means I can teleport to Piscalerius uh, only a certain amount of time, so I'll have to get some runes to recharge it. But that's... Pretty good. 2,000 coins off the rip will definitely help out, but we also get access to the fishing shop, which I just passed there, which will give me some access to feathers later down the line when I need them for fishing or fletching. So definitely overall a good quest to get out of the way early on. I need to get this out of the way as soon as possible before I forget. With the 2,000 coins, I'm going to be buying the POH. This does cost 1,000 coins, but it gives us access to training construction once we get to Winter Tot as that's the only way to actually level construction until we get level 25. So definitely needed to buy that POH as soon as possible. Literally, I'm watching a uh, small XP lamp just plank over and over again here at the- What is happening <laughs> with lamp? It just keeps dying. Yeah. He's a <laughs> hardcore too, it, it, like he makes hardcore videos. With those two quests out of the way, it is now time to start the Winter Todd grind. I need 50 fire making, so that means we're gonna be chopping for a very long time, I'd imagine. Grabbing a couple of bird snares because I want to get a head start on the hunter levels because I plan on catching implings later down the line. They 
give us access to extremely useful items. Uh, don't know how far I'm going to get. Magpies is honestly the goal, but that's a little crazy to think 6,500 in only five days on top of everything else. So those are pretty big goals that I probably won't reach, but I'm just going to knock it out and see how far we can get and see exactly what we can get from all the implings. All right, I'm being super efficient right now. This took me forever to get to this spot, but there's some dead trees here, so I'm going to be chopping these while I wait for my bird snares to catch something. And then I get some feathers from it, which means I can use those on the arrow shafts that I'm making from these dead trees. So I'm getting fletching XP, woodcutting XP, hunter experience, as well as the prayer from burying the bones. So four skills at once. If that's not efficient enough, I don't know what is, boys. Final bird, level nine hunter, which means I can move on to the copper long tails uh, in the southern area of Zaya, which is going to speed up the levels tremendously. I'm also about to hit nine fletching here it is very useful i'm so glad i used these feathers instead of dropping them i guess that's a milestone 31 wood cutting steel axe time do i get any xp i don't remember it's been years since i did this 650 xp that's actually huge i just went from one to seven fishing i've been feeding my teammate logs for the past four and a half hours I got 50 fire making let's get to todd here comes the 50 fire making life i can now go to winter todd all logs complete. Uh, I'm gonna do client of Corend and buy a house before I head up there, but we're pretty much winter Todd ready. Excuse me, sir. I would like to buy a house. I have exactly 1,000 coins. All right, time for some winter Todd action. Finally here. I got two pieces of warm gears. You can see Lum has beaten me here. He was also fed some logs and is kicking ass. Let's go. Let's see what we get. 20 strength as well. Ooh, this is exciting. Oh, oh, no way! Just kidding, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm looking at the same screen, bro. What are those, what are those, what are those seeds? Those, uh, herb seeds? Snapdragons? Aramin. Willow. Oh, so far it's good. Coins are good. Yeah, 17k. So since Lum was already in, uh, when I got this first crate, this is not a full crate by any means. The goal is to max out points without a doubt, to be fair. Alright, I'm just gonna open up the first crate right now. Okay. 37k, almost 38k. Well, that's a start. Now to focus on getting my fire making level up alone so I can get to Winter Todd. We're trying to get at least six people up there for a better chance at the Tome of Fire. Here is the last log that I need for 50 fire making. Let's go. We're training skills, four different skills at a time right now. We have fire making life coming in hot. In fact, probably gonna get a fire making level very soon. Here's some construction XP coming in hot. In fact, a construction level 21 construction. Let's see if I can get that fire making level quick. Just to make my point even more valid. 60 fire making. There we go. See, the total levels are flying in. Warm gloves. 36 pages again. <laughs> That's how many I got last time, bro. Consistent. This guy. All right, let's do this. Let's get a piece. Oh, what a garb on the first piece. All right, I just got to the Winter Todd, and we've got like three or four of our guys here already. There it is. 52. I got two levels just from that one game. Oh, I got my first intelligence, finally. A lot of oak planks. And I got some armor here. And cosmic runes will be really useful. It's really all I needed from this. The intel is going to be pretty nice as well. Here are my current stats. I've been doing a lot of sand crabs in between the gangs. So here are my stats. I've been playing for a while now. Many, many hours later, we are finally done with the fire making grinds. 50 fire making. We can finally do Wintod after a long session of non-stop chopping trees and feeding fellow tri members. Tubby decided to leave his oak tree for a few seconds, so I'm going to yoink it from him. Thanks, bro. Why don't we mess around with Tubby a little bit? Let's put a fire in his path just to like, you know, mess with him a little bit. He won't get mad, but it's just enough to annoy him, I know for sure. Mm, they're probably working towards rune crossbow uh, availability, potentially. Or that's the only thing I can think of that you would need smithing for. And you would only need one person to do it. But, but they're, they they're total levels, too. They just farm for an iron uh, iron pickaxe. So I don't know what. Remember, there's a mithril crossbow where you can use those emerald bolts. E. True. Maybe they're working towards that. Two of their guys logged out. Ed and Lum. Let's see what they start at the end of that. Three, chopping. Ed, 137. Chopping and bobbing, he's already, brother. Oh, he's already at Winter Todd. We'll be doing it. Not Who's surprised. at Winter Todd? Lum Lumbus? Ed. Ed has 53 well, fire making. We, oh, we so he's probably he's right now. Oh, he's got 11. He got 11 uh, uh, con already. Yeah, he's he's been there. I wonder if he put a... Did he put a lamp, did he put a lamp <clears> in maybe. there originally? 
by chance? I mean, my goal is going to be the PVM. I want to get Winter Todd going, and then after that, with Cash, start going into like Grubby Keys if I can. Hey, 40 wood cutting coming in. There's 100% Arceus favor and the first look at the best place to buy runes on the island. Yes, I've never hopped into a random event so fast in my life. I made 1000 GP from that random event and I'm going to spend it all on arrows, which fires us right in to the start of our range training. I can't believe nobody else is doing this. There's two oak trees down here. So while I'm doing hunter, I can knock out fire making and wood cutting. Everybody else is literally just wood cutting oaks instead of doing this method, which honestly, it's probably going to slow down my wood cutting and fire making overall because I'm doing these bird houses or these bird snares. Sorry. But at the same time, I'm going to be knocking out multiple skills at once. So big brain moves right here, boys. Level 12 hunter. And this means I can do the Archaeus quest which gives me an additional hunter experience i think it gets me up to level 17 from level 12 which will increase the bird snares and plus i can do the quest for some additional money so i'm gonna go knock that out right now i totally forgot that this quest requires combat i have to kill like five different things so i'm gonna need quite a bunch of runes i only have 1k to work with here Here's the souls I gotta kill. Hopefully I have enough runes and food. I didn't bring too much food to be honest with you. I don't know what these things can hit. Uh, okay. Well, they're... <laughs> they're smacking me right now. I don't know if there's a safe spot in here. There probably is. I'm gonna kill five of these things. Hopefully I'm gonna give it my best college try here, boys. And I'll let you know how it goes. Holy cow, guys. This... <laughs> I've been airstriking this one. I ran out of fire runes a while ago, so... This is the last one. Unfortunately, there's a boss I have to kill. So I gotta find a way to make some money so I can get some more runes to defeat the boss because that airstrike is not going to cut it. Here we go, boys. I think this is the boss. I think he spawns. Yep, there he is. I'm hoping I can get him stuck behind this bush. Oh my god. I don't know if I can. I'm hoping we can. Let's see. Perfect. All right. I was a little bit worried. I didn't actually look if I could save spot him, but this should be easy enough. I have enough runes, I think. If I can actually hit, but once I kill him, hopefully we can complete the quest. I just realized I stayed 10 HP during this whole time as well, but there is the quest completed. 16 Hunter, as well as 5 Rune Crafting, and we can put this into Arceus, which I already have 100%, so that's pretty useless. But I have a teleport to Arceus now as well. Oh my god, boys, that was so embarrassing. I just died to the Temple Spiders, trying to transfer some stuff to Beck so he can continue killing them i got absolutely slapped i don't even know how i'm gonna get how do i get out of here dude just let me leave oh yeah warm gloves five more crates down 76k profit but even better now i have three warm pieces hey more burnt pages let's go dude Ugh, what is this the feralinar seed i mean it's an herb seed and two willow seeds 8k cash and some ores, dude, I'm not even upset. Look at the boys going absolute ham at Winstod. We got Johnny, Noct, me, Tubby, Buff, and Ed. We got Slang it here, getting some really good loot. Hopefully, we get a time of fire. All we have to do is click the thumbs up button, there we go, easy time. First crate, good luck. Oh, I got the gob, let's go. All right, let's check these out real quick. Um, yeah. Not very good. <laughs> That's just like my RNG. That's what I would expect. Oh, I have another crate in my bank. I forgot about it. Let's see what we get. Uh, nothing too special. 58 fire making. Come on, baby. Time of fire. Nope. That's a lot of gems, to be fair. Yeah, dude. Did I get 10k? Dude, I'm... Well... It's above 4. I got 29 burnt pages. Another crate. Ooh. Dude, that's a good one. That's a good one. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Come on. Burnt pages, finally. Another crate. What is that? 13. Winter Todd KC. Ooh, baby. Oh, I got the hood. Yes. Yo, let's go. That's sick. Come on. Ooh, 10k cash. Oh, look at that. 12k. Come up short on the rune scimitar. I only have 18 gangsters killed. And as soon as I get my rune sim, I'm going straight to the baby red dragons. And hopefully by the end of tomorrow, I'll have overheads. If I don't, I'll be a little bit disappointed. Area locked accounts are a lot of fun, but it's really slow. 
Not anything crazy. Almost 10k. Oh yes, Mithralos, nice. We need those for the future. All right, we've got a big juicy crates open. Let's see what we get. Oh yes, we got the robe, 10k cash, and some nice gems. That's a fat opening, that's so cool. So now I'm gonna be camping at oak trees to make oak shields. In my opinion, it's a little bit nicer making the shields because it's the same XP rate, but it uses two logs instead of one. So whether you're dropping them or banking them, you have to do that half as often. Gonna grab a level here and hop up onto 45 thieving. Got some unlocks there, but nothing that's going to matter too much to me. I think I'm going to wrap it up for the day just because I, I've been here for a good bit at this point. Actually kind of nice to have a lot of strange fruit for the homies out here. Also got a bunch of cakes, and I don't know if I'm going to go steal. I might steal a little bit of silk just so I can get some side GP for myself since I don't have it. All right, I think this is going to be my last game of Winter Todd. That was 18 KC. I'm pretty sure I have the highest total level right now of 229 gonna go and start training some of my melee stats starting with range let's open this last crate good luck 8k that'll really help all right so i'm here in the shazian range shop to buy some ranging gear really quick probably just get like a willow short bow and some arrows all right so that's chicken slayer completed i got 1600 feathers which is pretty good for my fletcher later on it'll help him boost his experience whenever he makes bolts or arrows and there it is 20 range Time for sand crabs. All right, so I just finally finished getting 50 woodcutting. I feel like I've been staring at these trees forever, but that does unlock some really nice things. We can finally start feeding our other accounts with gold, getting everything moving. And honestly, we have to get this moving. The other team's already got people there, so we're not necessarily behind, but we've definitely got a deficit to start making up. So, Boom, what are you thinking? Once we get into winter tot, we're gonna start feeding you supplies. Where are you headed? I'm just happy because these guys are genuinely getting pretty comfortable in there. There's three of them right now camping Winter Todd, and they're getting ahead right now, but not really because we're taking a totally different route. My levels are really increasing. I've got 30 range, and we're, I, we literally have, we have rune drag or rune daggers. Um, we have med helms. So we have everything we need. Sloughing, what you, you you definitely have the number one total level in the tournament right now, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm probably thinking. I'm going for the highest total level. I'll be in Winter Tot with PhD here pretty soon, but I'm taking a small detour. I'm trying to get a couple Iron Axes with Chaos here, and then I'll be headed to Winter Tot. Right now, I'm currently sitting at 226 total level, which I doubt anybody's close to that. You're slaying. <laughs> to be honest, yes. Oh my god, that's insane. Yeah. What about you, Dust? killing it. What are you feeling? What, what's, what's up Same next? Here, where are you going? Where are you going next? I've got about an hour, hour and a half until I get to Winter Tot. Those guys seem very, very comfortable up there, so I'm about to go and grief them as much as I can. That's the <laughs> primary goal right now. Now just gonna fluster turn them. Turn all those on. We're gonna take them all uh, out. We're gonna, oh, yeah. gonna ruin their solos. The heat. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. send them to the shadow realm. Well, that was a check in with Team Shazy and Gladiators. We're gonna continue, and there's more on the horizon. Took a little detour, and that is the Clue Hunter garb obtained. I'm going to get the Staff of Fire, and those are the two items I'm going to have as warm clothing. Until I get Pyromancer, of course. And there is 50 fire making. It is finally time to do Winter Tot. Oh boy, I've been here for like 10 hours now. It feels so good to finally just knock on the doors of Din. Yeah, he's streaming. I literally too. ate my cake and I died. What the f just happened? Daddy's home, boys. I love that. <laughs> 15 fletching off these arrow tips alone guys or the headless arrow should i say the feathers are coming in super clutch on the gains 31 hunter as well i think i only need one more hunter level until i unlock the next method once i unlock it which is aerial fishing but i need to focus on the fire making gains this is slowing me down tremendously here we go boys puro puro is here i was honestly worried how long this would take to actually arrive in zaya all right, I need to get some jars in the net, so if I run into anything passively, uh, I can catch them now, because I can't catch them barehanded. That requires higher hunter levels. Level 10 prayer already. This is actually not too bad. Having over 20 range, I think it's high enough that we could start defeating a monster that's going to make us some cash. I watched a couple guides on YouTube, and I found the perfect one for the red spiders in Forthos Dungeon. These spiders drop a huge assortment of items like rune med helms and rune daggers, which will be a gigantic help for me and my tribe. Look at this. 
a rune dagger on day one and probably the first rune item out of the entire competition 30 range achieved and now a rune med helm this is going to be the best in slot helmet until we can unlock a rune full helmet all right guys first crate for team shazy and gladiators uh good luck guys good luck good luck good luck 25k yeah. cash is good nice it's oh, okay. huge 25k cash yeah, that's um good. who needs who needs the cash let's divvy that up now uh, to whoever needs the cash so that we can just kind of get that moving before the next round all right very first crate and what do we get absolute trash i love it at least the coins are helpful another crate another disappointment crate number two let's see what's in luck, store luck. pyromancer garb i am so happy with that i just like that wow, it's so nice. nice it's so clean i got the garb but it's GG. fine i can get rid of the clue hunter they say third time's a charm. They also lied. <laughs> this is the moment, ladies and gentlemen. A crate that changes everything. 9K coins, that is huge. Again, another massive coin drop. Come on, baby. You just gotta stare it in the Ooh. eyes of the tribal gains. Kaboom. I got gloves. Bruma Torch and Burnt Pages and 14 T Clocks. That is a massive crate. Good luck, boys. Give me a tome. Ooh, 20 Burnt Pages, 5K, 12 Oak Logs, some Salmon and an Oak. So after thinking about it for a while and brainstorming, I'm deciding to put both of my lamps from Client of Karen into Slayer. That way I can get level nine right off the bat. That's eight free levels. And if I get lucky and get two genie lamps, I'll have 10 Slayer. And with my GP from Winter Todd, I am buying a house so that I can start getting some construction XP up there. And whenever I'm in the area, I'm going to be working on farming as well, just for a few extra free levels. Oh, genie lamp. Heck yeah. Shout out to Chaos, doing some smithing. Got me some arrow tips for the fletching grind. This is going to speed it up tremendously i got a willow and oak from those bird nests as well i got one more in the bank let's see what i get from this hopefully something nice a maple seed that's bank value i'll take it level nine farming guys which means i can now start planting some guam seeds had to knock out a couple of quick thieving levels to supply myself some seeds for farming 38 thieving which means i can pickpocket from the master farmers now trying a different route here just uh trying to get in his head a little bit play a little bit of mental warfare telling him he's getting sleepy it's gonna work it's pretty late at night so if i just if i tell him he's getting sleepy surely he's gonna fall asleep surely am i right man three more crates good luck Ooh, 10k okay that's great holy crap 28 burnt pages okay and crap nice 180k four more crates please give me a tome Cash, okay, that's good. Better, That's better than nothing. More cash, some burnt pages, very nice. A lot of the bank value. Crap, and crap. 600k bank now. It is looking great. A 200 total level. So a little context for this next clip. Dak from The Ed Boys was streaming at Winter Todd, and we saw that he was going to get X logged in five minutes. All right, so he's got, he's got five minutes. So if we just, just back off, should we just back off with our points and just <laughs> should we just go sit in the chill area? I don't know. It's not even dropping in percentage. <laughs> Dude, look at his face. It look at his face. It's going He's up. so <laughs> big. <laughs> look at his face. He's so mad. He's like holding he it knows. in. Go north. Go north. Go north. Go north. Just go north. <laughs> He's about to flip. <laughs> you just got hustle. Yeah. Was it he was hustling? A little hashtag. Happy, and just hashtag hour happy six bitch. hour log. Nothing of the point. How much time does he have left? So fucking... <laughs> <laughs> hey man, happy six hour log. These guys, so nice. <laughs> it doesn't show the timer at the bottom of this. So like I'm not making any progress right now. Oh, wait a we are doomed, little guy. He's saying we are doomed. You guys both seem to forget that I lost 13k points on a DC, dude. Ooh, this is Ooh. nothing. Oh, he got lost. This is like a voluntary enema. Did he get lost? <laughs> Let's finish 
the game now. Go, no balls quitting. Here we go. Kaboom. Bro, Tomba Fire! Tomba Fire! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Really? Holy Holy Holy, holy Hold a hold a hold! <laughs> Jesus! It's I'm not it joking! Like you really get it? I really got the Tome of Fire! Holy what? Holy sh oh 1.1 mil boys! Yes! Oh. Let's go! Ooh. Bro! Oh my god, that's awesome! Pardon? <laughs> I know we just probably bleeped like 87 curse words. Oh. I'm so sorry whoever just edited that. 70 fire making coming in, that is a massive level. Earlier before we camped Temple Spiders, I gathered around 200 silk. Now it's time to finally cash in on it and buy a ton of ammunition. There we go, guys. That is 30 fletching. There we go. 20 construction coming in. Loving it. Loving it. I'm alive. All right. This is a max crate of winter tot. Will it be as fantastical as we want it? Let's send it. Bro. What the? F Ooh. What the? F what the heck? Double warm gloves? 26 burnt pages. I, a new hood, by the way. Little fashion scape. Something warm. Um... That's the I warm have, tribal mask. I had the warm tribal mask. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Another broom and torch. Here we go. Here's a look at what the stats were looking like at the end of day one. I got 73 fire making, uh, 45 wood cutting, 38 fletching, and 35 construction overall. Not too bad in the gains for day one, though. Would have been a lot nicer if we could have pulled something crazier out of the crates. And that concludes day one for me of the challenge. 26 burnt pages of 100k cash and almost full pyromancer. By the way, you can turn each pyromancer piece into 50 burnt pages. So in total, we have gotten 176 burnt pages. Really good bank value. 241 total level and 951 fast XP. And now we're at the end of day one with a 272k bank and we managed to get a couple pyromancer pieces. Not to mention 197 total level. Okay, this is crate number 20. Will it break the dry streak and give me something nice? Absolutely not. Gains, we just tied the top level for fire making and I don't see Ed here, so that's huge. That is a 13,500 plus crate. Let's go check it out. Send it. That is the most, what is, what is? <laughs> this is such an odd crate. Here's the final level for day number one, guys. Uh, 48 fire making, not quite level 50 for winter tot, which is what I had originally planned in mind, but I did get to 300 total level on day number one, guys. I had a lot of other things that I was working on, as you can see, and I think I did pretty good. I'm pretty sure I am the number one as far as total level goes. 300 in day number one, Zaya only, by the way, uh, but that's where I'm going to finish it off. I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to head to bed, and then we'll start the gains tomorrow. All right, so I'm going to call it an end to day one. My total bank value is at 718k, and I'm at 221 skill total. I'll probably do some more Winter Todd tomorrow to get fletching and construction up a little higher. It's been an absolute blast so far in the event, so hopefully tomorrow we pick things up. That marks the end of day one. Tribe 1 was able to get extremely lucky by pulling a crucial rare item, the Tome of Fire, which not only gave them a massive leap in total bank value, but by having a tome, they've acquired a big advantage in the final PvP battle. Tribe 2 seems to have a strong base of teamwork forming. If they keep this pace, will Tribe 1's antics be enough to continue to keep them from progressing? Only time will tell. Okay, so it's now day 2, and the goal for today is to do some more Winter Todd for GP and a chance at that tome. And then I'm going to move on to starting combat and skilling. A 70 fire making and 225 total. First level of the day, 45 fire making. Just waking up, so I'm a little tired, but we got a long way to go. 50 fire making coming in. We can now start winter tot. All right, let's see. The greats. Let's see what I got. Pyromancer pog, dude. Bam, I got the um, torch, baby. Mm, torch. You got the torch? Mm -hmm. Ready for this? All right, starting off day number two with 50 fire making guys, which... Means I can go to Winter Todd. I don't think I'm gonna head there just yet because I want to try to get 60 woodcutting to get in the woodcutting guild, so I can start handing out some rune axes to other tribe mates, steel axe, and some more iron arrow tips from Chaos coming in here. Huge moves. This is definitely gonna help out on the 60 woodcutting grind. So thank you very much. 35 range, 40 range, and a big milestone for the competition. 45 range. Seven Winter Todd KC coming in. <gasps> guys, guys. What? I just got a f***ing Tome of Fire. Are you serious? 
Bro, I'm being I'm being completely serious, 100. <laughs> percent We got oh. it. Oh. Yeah, we have two. The amount of herb seeds I'm actually getting from Master Farmer right now is pretty insane. With 45 range and probably the highest range level of the competition so far, we're now able to defeat baby red dragons. Not only are these baby red dragons good for their bone drops, but they also have a chance of dropping a grubby key, which is very important for us to get. Here we go. I got five more crates. Crap. 6k. Okay. Ooh, 15k. A little bit more, I got some burnt pages, okay, and crap. Thank you, Tribal Grief. Trading over a Tome of Fire, which is a gigantic upgrade for the PvP battle. And he's also feeding me a 50k cash pile. That's a lot of supplies. That's huge, though. See that? That's gonna be massive right now. Plus, this is a trade-in. Okay, you know, this ain't bad, this ain't bad. This is honestly pretty clean. Here is 40 fletching coming in hot, which means I'm gonna be getting a lot more XP from fletching inside of Wintertot. Now, unfortunately, it's only going to be about 28 XP per log in Winter Tot, which means Willows would technically be faster, but I need to do some Winter Tot as well to help out the team. Oh my god, I got the garb. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are probably watching everybody else's clips. I'm pretty sure everybody who's done Winter Tot at this point has gotten the garb. I just see everybody running around with the garb, so I don't know what the hell's going on here, but... Apparently, Winter Tot is just handing out garbs like it's nothing. I'm going to start working on magic and room crafting. I'm not sure who's going to be using the second tome, but I'd get at least 59 to use Fire Blast. And that is 250 total. I put some books into room crafting on the side as well, and there's 10 room crafting. Wow, that's also 1 million total XP. Yes, there's 50 magic. I've been grinding this for hours now. Wow, 41k XP an hour while doing this. Absolutely naked with no stamina. <laughs> that is a lot of XP per hour for free. Day number two of the challenge. Today, we're going to be focusing on training our combat. And we're going to be going for range levels. Got my 100k cash. Let's buy a bunch of bows and then a bunch of arrows. All right, this should be good for now. Spent 20k. Let's go get some range levels. That's level five range. Level 10. What do you got for me? Yo, a yew tree seed out of it? Okay, I guess that's pretty solid for bank value. And there's 25 defense coming in. Time to just focus up on range. I'm currently sitting at 47 range, which is pretty damn good. But it's time to start focusing up on smithing and mining, so that way I can start making things like iron crossbows. I need to make sure that I mine enough ores to get at least 22 smithing, so I can plus one boost for 23. So I'll be here for a minute. I don't mind getting extra ores since I'm eventually going to have to get my smithing up to level 55. Dropping off what ores I have from uh, Winter Todd to Buff. Buff's going to be doing the smithing, so we're giving him all of the ores. Here you go, brother. Quick little break from the range training. Going to help my boy out getting a full inventory of iron ores really quick. And then we can go straight back. You may have noticed I was chopping oaks before when I got that used seed. Uh, it's because I was grabbing 39 fletching quick. We didn't quite have anybody with 39 fletching yet to get um, these iron crossbows that we're working on. That's why Buff was doing smithing, so. There we are completing our first lap, 6 agility. Level 10 agility unlocked. 20 agility. And there's 25 agility. I said, why stop at 20 when I can go for the highest level on my team? In the meantime, before I get a rune scimitar, I can actually buy an Addy longsword from the shop. It's going to cost most of my money, though. But I think it's definitely worth it. Wow, that was a lot of strength XP. Literally just like 5k strength XP just off the bat. Just off of the intel. I think I'm going to keep doing organized crime, even though I'm 100% shazy in favor. Just so I can get more intel and more rune sims, it's pretty just efficient to do. Boom, there's 30 attack. I can now use my addy long, which will hopefully be a decent up between some defense. I'm just working out prayer methods. I'm testing these baby dragons, but it really doesn't seem like it's going to be worth at all. Because it takes a couple minutes to kill each one. So it's really bad. 40 fletching, we could do willow longbows now. Time to turn all of this into iron crossbow limbs. And there it is, 23 smithing. That's the iron limbs unlocked. Absolutely beautiful. This is such a huge upgrade, especially since I'm going to be taking this to Forthos to kill baby red dragons, which have a decently high defense level. But yeah, this will help me tear right through them. And our first few steps in the catacombs looking good. There's 30 magic and we're quite a few fire giants in to attempt to unlock the rune scimitar. 40 hit points. First Renar on the account, that's huge actually for bank value. Totally missed the fact that I even got 400 total level. I've been doing a lot of fishing as you can see. I'm trying to get to 43 fishing which is required for aerial fishing. So I'm going to be cooking a little bit on the way. I'm not going to cook all these uh, just for some quick levels is all. 
I just realized how creative a decision it was to put my client of Karen favor into piss. At 30% favor, you can buy raw fish from the shop. So from just buying the shop out, I got up to 18 cooking. And it barely cost me any GP. And you know I can't just ignore mining. Oh yeah. 15 mining coming in. Now I can actually mine iron. I think I'm gonna do something different now though. Got the fishing levels knocked out. I'm gonna do some more magic levels. It's just too fast of levels not to come back here. Look at these XP drops right here. This is actually insane. So I'm gonna do this until uh, probably 35, I'm gonna imagine, and then I'll just take a break from there. There is 15% Hosidia's favor. I am now gonna work on thieving and do some fruit stalls. Ta-da, 25 thieving. And now it's time to run around like a hamster. This is actually the best thieving XP, by the way, for this challenge. Gives about 38k XP an hour. And there is 40 thieving. My fingers are gonna fall off, so I'm gonna go do something else for now. Thought I'd check out the Shazy and Agility course while I'm in town. There's level 9 Agility. More importantly, there's 350 total. Massive difference from yesterday. I now wish they reverted the change. It's so ass doing bandages now. Well, at least it lets me buy weapons and gear to train melee up. This should probably give us quite a bit of magic experience. 44 magic. And 45 magic, we need to unlock level 50 so we can wield the Tome of Fire. Now that I have a somewhat decent range level, I'm going to level up range strictly on temple spiders. That way I'm helping the group by getting grubby keys, rune meds, addy long swords, and a bunch of supplies. Alright, please don't die. Let's get to that web safely. F All right, here we go again. Oh my god, no! Oh, oh! <laughs> oh my god, that was so close! Yes! Addy Helm! That is gonna be so great for leveling combat! It's gonna be so tanky! Super Anti-Poison, also very good. That's gonna be very useful for lizard and shamans later down the line. Holy crap, another Addy Helm! Heck yeah! Yes! Yes! Rune Med! Heck yeah! That's the very first one. Hopefully many more to come. That is gonna be our best in slot for the fight. What? Another? I am literally becoming the tribe armory right here. Wow. Day two and half of my tribe is already gonna have Rune Med Helms, dude. This is so nice. Yes! There it is! That is the very first grubby key. Hopefully one of many. Okay, so I went back for another session and I was able to get two more grubby keys and a whole crap ton of Addy armor and weapons. We are going to need some willow stalks to make iron crossbows. All right, so I'm fighting the giant rats now for some ranged life. Uh, they definitely do a little bit of damage since I'm one defense, so I'm just going to be safe spotting them. That's the beauty of range, right? The idea of safe spotting just is so broken. I went and grabbed an axe and a tinderbox so that I could at least cook some of the rat meat that is dropped, grabbing a couple of cooking levels. That's just going to add up on the total levels. Plus, now I have some food if I do take some damage while I'm out here. Got a couple of levels coming in hot. There's hit points first, 13 hit points, and then... 14 range and 250 total level level 30 range coming in 35 range just hit 20 attacks so now i can switch on over to a mithril sim all right up to 40 defense got base 40s now in my melee so i can now wear rune i can also use rune when attacking so that is nice um I can get a rune sim a couple different ways. I believe I'm going to go the route of killing fire giants with mage and getting my mage up that way. Another little meet up. We got Mr. Ed Lumb and Buff. Trey Mr. Buff and this dude is basically our smithing guy. He's going to get us some really good stuff from smithing. So this guy just takes everyone's ores basically and he's going to get a high smithing level for a very secret item. Look at this iron crossbow life. Them upgrades. And then Ed is our fletching guy. And he's gonna hook us all up with iron crossbow. Nice, teamwork. Oh, iron crossbow, baby. Hell yes. Oh yeah, 70 fire making. Oh, I got 40, 40 attack and 44 HP, which is really important. I'm gonna go back to strength training. Uh, I'm gonna go for the rune sim. I've killed a bunch of gangsters. Not a bunch, but I have not gotten the rune sim yet. So I'm just gonna go for the 1 in 60 drop from the skeletons and the Shazian crypts. But I need to buy more fire strikes. The melee stats are coming in strong though. So the next thing I want to work on is getting to level 37 prayer. So I can lock protect from magic. And the best way to get some protect from magic from this challenge is by doing reanimated spells. And I need to get Arceus favor to unlock the spell book. But while I'm here, I can put XP books into magic. I'm gonna get some good magic XP hopefully. All right, it's level 16 magic and 100% favor. I did move over to cows momentarily. I'm currently collecting some beef now instead of rat meat. Sounds 
much more pleasant to eat. But uh, I think it's it's Lum that is currently working on crafting, and there's not a lot of crafting options, so making beef into sinew or whatever was uh, gonna be helpful for him for just a couple of levels, and collecting all of his own beef seemed kind of crappy, so I'm helping him out with that. Okay, I'm gonna head over there, give him some of this beef. I think I'm about 70 beef in, so it's a little bit of extra crafting XP for him, and, you know, I've been getting ranged levels out here. There's been some intel leaked through uh, miscellaneous people, and essentially, apparently the other team has two tomes already, which is the most absurd thing I have ever heard. I mean, of course, a tome's very nice in this scenario because, you know, you get that nice damage boost with some fire spells, could be good in PvP, but to have two of them is so, so silly because they're a one one k drop, and we sent twice as many people to go there and try to at least get something out of Wintertop, and they managed to get two tomes, and we don't have a one. For overheads, I'm getting... Big bones from these hill giants. I'm gonna save the insult hill giants for my team members. There's two that spawn right here, so basically every hill giant, I'm burying three big bones and getting 45 per XP, so it shouldn't take like too crazy long. And in between hill giant kills, I'm still doing organized crime. I'm up to 38 gangsters killed, four gang bosses, so I'm a little over half the drop rate, so nothing crazy yet. Ranging some sand crabs now. These things with 60 health are very AFK, which is kinda nice. I got some other things that I'll be working on, so I'm gonna be AFKing some combat stats pretty hard. All right, I'm looking at 35 range and almost 20 base in the melee stats. Uh, I'm gonna do, there's 17 defense coming in hot. I'm gonna be doing magic later, probably passing really all these levels fairly quickly, but I feel like I want 40 plus in each of the combat stats before going into the fight. I've done some soft leather, now I'm gonna make some hard leather. I'm just gonna make a bit of a mix of both. The hard leathers for hard leather bodies. Let's go. Oh, second pair of warm gloves. You know what, that's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad because I can do this. My team convinced me to trade it for pages, so that's what I'm going to do. And my bank almost goes up 200. We are now entering the Forthos dungeon. We're going to run across these spiders and get to the safe zone. There he is, Tribal Beck. He's already killing the dragon, so we've got to get in there, risk our life, and start setting up our aggro lines so we can kill these baby red dragons. Dude! <laughs> oh my god. An Addy... Addy plate! That's pretty huge, actually. That's like an equivalent of a rune chain, almost. One of the enemy tribe members is here, tribal XMO, trying to take my dragons, but this iron crossbow is completely out DPSing him. You know, it's basically an ACB compared to his maple shortbow. It's actually so funny how hyped we are over this small of an item. Yo, finally! We got one! We got one! We got a grubby key! Dude, that's, that's guaranteed food, maybe some potions. 26 prayer that's gonna give me Hawkeye. That's all I was really waiting here for till I could go somewhere else. Anywhere that you could save spot. Oh! Oh! It's a ranger. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm a legend. I tick eat! Did we do a bit of tick eating? We tick eat! Oh. Call me Wooks, baby. Holy 22 strength. What a beautiful stopping point. I have not used this new agility course yet. Uh, it's actually pretty solid for a beginner's course. I mean, agility is a very straightforward thing. It's kind of hard to, like, ruin a course, I guess. It's just agility. Uh, I'm probably going to be here till 15, maybe 20 agility is the goal. 20 agility coming in hot. Uh, that is definitely... The last bit of agility I'll be doing for all of tribal mode. I need to get a bunch of nature runes. I think I need like 110 nature runes or something to use my reanimated spells. Because you can't buy nature runes on Zaya, so you have to do PVM to get them. as level 40 range. I've killed 226. Took a bit of time. I'm going to go back to the library and I'm going to get like 42 magic, whatever it is, to reanimate hill giant heads. Ooh, 40 defense. I can wear rune armor now. Hopefully we'll get a rune med, rune plate legs maybe. How many insult heads do I have at 30 prayer? 14 insult heads to feed to my team. Hopefully I'll get like another like 15 and I'll get someone halfway to overheads. All right, those two big bone spawns were really, really clutch. I bury one more and boom, I protect from magic, which is really nice for now. Knocking out some med kits, very easy. Nice, I'm gonna buy the adamant long sword for a little bit of an upgrade life. It's really not that great. It would be nice to grab a rune skimmy sometime soon. I am going to go to the Corin library for most of my magic training. I'd like to use as few runes as possible while training magic since that does make the bank value go down, though the first few magic levels are very cheap. Ooh, look at this. Mr. Lumbridge hooking us up with some range armor. Thank you very much, my guy. It's going to help tons. All right, this is the final book. 
Use up magic, and we are finally level 41 magic. We can now reanimate hill giant heads. All right, so I need 15% Lova King favor in order to buy pickaxes from Thuris. So I'm going to go ahead and use my certificate on this. I think it's worth it. Wait, what? Where's the pickaxes? Oh, no. I don't know if I just wasted my favor certificate, but <laughs> I might have been able to buy these the entire time. The value of the Adiax, 4.1k, buy one of those. Myth, 1.6k, buy some steels. And I have so many insold heads banked. 29 heads, almost 30 insold heads banked. With the nature I need to be able to cast the Adept Reanimation spell. I'm going to save them for someone else on my team. I'm just going to get overheads from this hill giant spot. But I'm going to go try to get a rune scimitar now from the skeletal people that mage. I can protect mage from them and hopefully it will work. I'm going to try for a second time. First time didn't go so well. Honestly, the library really isn't that bad for magic training. That's a shout out to Wooks though. If it weren't for the plugin, which he pretty much invented, this would be terrible. It was terrible to be fair. I've done it pre-plugin. Most people did it right when it came out, right? It wasn't wasn't great. 41 magic coming in hot. This means that I can now use uh, the spell for ensouled uh, giant heads, and ensouled giant heads are going to be a pretty good chunk of the prayer XP that I'm trying to get here, so. Coming in with a cheeky milestone is level 30 prayer. I just missed a level, but we did get level 50 range. That is so cool. And to conclude, day number two, 40 prayer coming in. Worked very hard for this all day. Protection from ranged unlocked. We are almost exactly 10,000 XP away from... 43 prayer and we have 39 in sold heads bank really really nice this will get someone probably 37 ish prayer so one of my teammates doesn't have to do the long grueling grind of getting overheads okay now the last thing i'm doing before i go to bed is getting that 10 defense so that i can wear the hard leather armor look at dust over there what's he doing this man is 10 hp with 50 mage like you're not going to make it into forthos my dude <laughs> he says, sup, bruh. Sup, dude. I love Dust. He's such a nice guy. But he's not coming over here. All right. I was just on mobile. I got uh, two back-to-back -back grubby keys, which I was pretty excited about. So I hopped on here to record that. Dude, just got another key. Boom. 58 range. Also got a, another grubby key this inventory. I think that puts us at 7. 49 mage and 50. Unlocking us the Tome of Fire. Yes, this looks so good. The other tribe doesn't know that we have a Tome of Fire for sure. So I'm going to try to keep this a little low key. End of day number two, guys. 457 total level. I got 35 magic, uh, some fishing levels, so I can do aerial fishing whenever I want to knock that out. Some more farming. Not quite at that 60 woodcutting goal yet. Uh, but I have a total of one day and six hours played. But I'm almost positive I'm still number one on the total levels. It's kind of hard to tell because people are still logged in, but I'm pretty sure I'm number one at the moment. I think that's enough for those dungeon grinding for now. I'm going to finish up the day by getting my melee stats up as much as I can. Instead of training on crabs, I'm killing cows and cooking the meat on the side so that I can get my total levels up at the same time. Okay, so this is the end of day two. I'm feeling real good. I got a ton of supplies from Forthos for everyone, and I managed to get up to 473 total. Nobody's at 500 yet, so I might be the first tomorrow. With day two coming to a close, things are really starting to pick up. Having only five days to complete so many tasks, Every moment is crucial for each tribe to capitalize on. We're seeing a large amount of hours being put in, with some tribe members like Buff trading sleep for 20 hours of gameplay per day just to stay ahead. Okay, so it's day three, and the objective I have is to get combats up as well as get overhead prayers. Because I have Shazin favor, I decided to buy kits for the entire team. It should help them all get combat a lot faster. A 20 attack coming in. Start of day three, we've got several crates from Winter Tot to open up. Uh, they all range from 500 points to multi-thousand points. I'm going to open them up one at a time. We already got the Tome of Fire, so the best thing we could get is either another Tome of Fire or just a lot of money. By the way, and if I sound tired, it's because I just woke up. We are just starting the grind today. Oh, Pyromancer legs. It's pretty much useless to me now that I'm done with Winter Tot. Still appreciate it, I guess. It's another item. 10 burnt pages. Useful. Some more money. Okay. 
More burnt pages and money. Pyromancer boots. Okay, we have the full Pyromancer set at this point. Just in time for me to uh, quit doing Winter Tot. <laughs> More money. Another Pyromancer garb. More burnt pages and money and some seeds. All right, so not too bad. Um, in all, our bank value is past 500k at this point. We have 100k in cash. Second genie on the account. I didn't show you guys the first one because it didn't level me up, but this is going to get me 10 Slayer, which means I can use the face mask if I want to get uh, the Lovenkinj favor. Wow, this is uh, quite the grind with the Steel Axe. 60 wood cutting. Now I can get into the wood cutting guild. I just need to get the favor. That means I'm going to be buying some rune axes for the team. I'm pretty sure they're quite expensive though, so I probably won't buy too many of them. Maybe one or two. Now, one of our biggest grinds to get past is unlocking protect for melee meaning we have to get 43 prayer. A good amount of prayer experience later, we've unlocked 50 range as well. Oh, wow, what the heck? Look at this. Look who showed up. Oh man, he's hunting me here. Don't do it, dude. No. No. Ah, why? Oh, dude. This man literally rolls up and just starts chinning everything. Okay, he's leaving. Oh, thank God he's leaving. We are gonna go and trade all of the Pyromancer stuff. So I'm pretty sure with these crates, uh, you only get one roll for each crate. So we should be getting eight items from this and let's see what they are. All right, um, yeah, useless, I guess. Welcome to day number three of the challenge. Today, we'll be starting to do some combat melee training and we'll be mining a bunch of rocks towards the big secret reveal at the end. First random encounter of day three. The quiz master, there we go, we've got the mystery box. Oh, for f**k's sake, a f**k cabbage, that is f**king unbelievable. Start of the next day, uh, I'm going to start with mining, because our team needs some iron ore to do smithing, so I'm going to feed a bunch of uh, iron ore to buff, so that we can get more smithing levels. 31 mining coming in, I can upgrade to my adamant pickaxe, probably going to get like 500 ores, go smith them, and... I think I'll hit 35 smithing. All right, one more rock. There we go, level 30 mining coming in. Can now mine coal. Here comes 16 mining, which is actually gonna be 450 total level. Making pretty solid gains on the total level side of things. I have a thousand ore for you, buff. I'm actually gonna go mine some coal now too. Not that much of it, but he needs a little bit of coal. So I'm gonna go grab some for him. A Little less than hundred ores, but uh, I'm sure he's gonna be happy with any coal that I can hand him because coal mining is Pretty slow. All right, I've got 37 mining. It's time to leave here, I think. I got a lot of mining done. And we have 716 iron ore. I think we can make rings of forging. So that should be a good chunk of XP. Right, so it's day three and I've decided to catch up with some combat stats. Yeah, so I got kind of bored at the sand crabs and decided to kill monks while I'm lower level. As my job is to craft, I needed a ring mold. So the only place I can get a ring mold apparently is at this little barbarian outpost from these barbarians. I also need to get an ami mold from the archer you can get there, but it's not a top priority at the moment. Time to start the melee training. Level 10 strength, 10 attack, it's level 20 strength. There we go, level 20 attack. There it is, 10 defense, that means I can wield this shield, and there's no range reduction on this shield. There it is, protect from mage. Our first overhead on the account. Um, I'm gonna take a break from prayer right now to go and make those steel crossbows. Not gonna be a lot of kills overall, since uh, I'm hitting fairly low on these fire giants, but it is gonna give me 49 magic, and if I could walk out of here with a rune skimmy, that'll be really big, not only for training, but in the final fight, a rune weapon is most likely gonna be the best thing that I've got, like whatever rune weapon I can get my hands on at this rate. Just a little update from day three. I am getting 44 prayer, and I'm doing the In Search of Knowledge quest, because you get a 10,000 XP lamp from it, and I'm gonna put it on prayer, and I'm gonna get Eagle Eye and Brazette for melee. So I need like two pages left, and while I'm here, I'm feeding my teammate a bunch of baby dragon bones, dropping them all for him. He's gonna get his prayer level up too. Oh, I also got some grabby keys. I got four right here, and I think this guy's gone eight, so in in total, we have 12 grubby keys. Updating stats, 58 range, 48 hit points. We are looking solid. It's day like three and I don't have any agility. So I thought I would just go ahead and get myself 20 agility just so I could regen run faster, run around the game. Didn't take too long. It was just a quick pit stop, like an hour. Pretty useful to get though. This is going to be it. 49 mage coming in hot. I can now enchant those ruby rings, make some rings of forging. I do not know how this is going to go. This is the depths of despair quest. I have 10 HP. I'm pretty sure I can save spot this though. 
I'm just doing this to get a quick 10% favor in Hasidius. How do I get in the safe spot? Maybe step one more over right here? Awesome. All right, we're in a safe spot. We're good. That thing was slapping me, so. There it is. 4K coins, 1.5K agility XP, and of course, the teleports to Hasidius when I need it. That's going to be super useful. Getting around Zaya is a pain. 21 agility as well from 18, so not too bad. Who's this guy? Nap. This guy's encouraging him. He's saying barrage all... No! <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at who, 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 did, who did this? Which one of you did all these dragon bones? Get out of here, dude. 40k for a freaking rune axe. That is insane. Why do they charge so much? And then the add-in is only 4k. I don't understand why they made it so expensive. Man, that's a big chunk of our money down the drain. I don't know if I'm gonna buy another one of those. <laughs> there it is. We got it, man. 60 wood cutting. Time to go to the woodcutting guild. 51 range, there's 53 range, and we're at 25 prayer in total with a bunch of installed heads in our bank. We've also switched hill giant spots because this one has a bone spawn, which is increasing our prayer experience per hour by a ton. I believe I have enough heads for 37, so let's see what can happen. And there is 37 prayer after an entire day of grinding. So currently there is nobody here at the hill giants and I'm out of food. Like, I don't even have any food in the bank. So rather than running all the way to cake stalls and getting more food from there and wasting this opportunity, uh, I'm just going to run to these three bone spawns and pick them up and just uh, pretty much just get prayer XP off of that. I won't be getting any combat experience doing this, but this is a pretty good opportunity to get some free and easy prayer levels. Here we are, second organized crime meeting. Me and Buff are gonna try and take these guys down. There's no safe spots, so we are totally confused. I don't know what we're going to do, man. Oh, he's gone for it. He's gone. Oh, my God. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, my God, dude. These guys smack. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Run, Buff. Run. Right, I'm going to follow him. Buff's dead, man. All right, I'm going back up. I'm going back up. I got my grave there. Hopefully, they don't attack me, dude. Okay, loot. Okay, let's uh, do some defensive casting. Yo, how did they just die? If you've done damage, it kills any of the ones that you've done damage to and gives you the kill. Which is quite nice, so we got a couple of kills there. Boom! 10k XP lamp, uses on prayer, and there we go, 10,000 prayer XP, 44 prayer, we know how to protect from melee, and eagle eye. 30 strength coming in hot, a 500 total level coming in hot. All right, so back to the smithing grind. We're trying to knock out these steel crossbows while we got everyone online. Teletubby King and I are using our super secret monster killing strat that you're going to see later on in the video. Watch this strategy now because it's going to be used later on. I can guarantee it. It's freaking sweet. Oh yeah, the crossbow strings. Okay, so here we are. Mr. Pip's on. 50 gold bars. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. There's 13 rings of recoil ready to go i'm gonna make a few more and i'm gonna make some rings of forging 46 fletching we have the level to make steel crossbows now i don't think i've ever fletched a teak log in my history of playing this game so i'm not sure what kind of xp we're gonna get 27 xp eh, i guess it's a step up from oak logs all right so i got 35 smithing i can now uh boost up with the dwarven stout to make studs as well as crossbow limbs so we're gonna go ahead and get that done all right, now I got the crossbow limbs incoming. Let's go, let's go before the boost runs out. There we go. Eight crossbow limbs. Okay, Tribal Buff is coming in with some really good items. He's got my steel axe. He's got all these bolts. I just need feathers. And we're going to make the steel crossbow. This is going to be amazing. Big upgrades. Oh, there we go. Steel crossbows coming in. Here with the boy, Mr. Pip, hooking him up with a steel crossbow, and he's hooking me up with a weapon poison plus he got from Temple Spiders. Gives his weapon poison on the rune dagger. I'm gonna start our little secret of getting Shazin armor. We got four pages out of the 12 we need, so we're a third of the way there. Plus 12, that's actually pretty significant. Just finished up at the gym. I was playing there on mobile. Super awkward when you're training legs and everyone's looking at you you when you got your phone in your crotch on the leg press but it is what it is i was getting spoon fed grubby keys so they were probably you know wondering hey what's going on why is that guy smiling and looking at his crotch and uh well that's why because i'm getting grubby keys and the big 61 range coming in this means i could wield a rune crossbow if i had one now let's bury these bad boys for 40 prayer 
That's right. Protect from missiles is unlocked. Holy cow. Be thankful you guys did not have to do this grind with me. 50 Hunter. I'm done. I'm getting out of here. I can now catch electric implings, which give us a variety of different things like blue dehyde chaps, red vamps if we need them, an adamant kite shield, and it's just some other stuff that could be useful in the end game fight. That's what I'm working towards right now is catching some electric implings. I have to wait for Pure Piro to come back. I wish I could have got to 65 Hunter for magpies, but that's just not going to happen. Yes. Give me those nature runes, man. 21? That is incredible. Oh, yes. Amulet of Strength also obtained. This will help a lot for melee training. Hope we don't get him fired one of these times. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, brother. It works. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm level 7 fishing now. Woo, another nature drop. 30 of them. Holy crap. Oh my god. Another one? yes please give me more heck yeah another nature drop guys so a little context for this next clip our tribe mate sluffin got hunter for eclectic implings so that we can get blue dehyde chaps from them and i saw one little impling fly by so i called him over <laughs> <laughs> oh i sloughed it <laughs> oh this is the funniest <laughs> ever <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the steel axe is a monster. Didn't think I'd ever have so much appreciation for a steel axe. Here we are at the Shazian camp with 100% favor. We're going to be killing tier 1 through tier 5 soldiers with our rune dagger and protect for melee. And we want to get the tier 5 armor because it's actually the best in slot range bonus outfit you can get on Zaya without crafting. There's tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, and there we go, tier 5 Shazian armor. It's got plus 30 range bonus huge and it's got pretty average defense stats too all right there's clan of Kren done i'm gonna use the lamps well i was gonna use them on runecrafting but i guess i can uh the more important thing is that i'm gonna use the favor on piscarillus so that i can go do the i think it's called a queen of thieves is that what it is somewhere in here turns out to do the quest you need to make a stew which you can't get anywhere on zia so i have to make it so i come get 25 cooking which took a lot longer than i thought it would i don't even remember what this random event gives Let's find out. What do we get? Two uncut rubies. That's not too bad. Woo! 31 range. Okay, so I'm skipping a whole tier of bows. Gonna go from a bronze bow, skipping iron, all the way to steel. What the heck? Dude. That's amazing. And then the bolts. Our previous bolts were 10 range strength. What are we looking at now? 46! Is that even possible? And by turning in these books, I have now completed In Search of Knowledge, which gives me a 10k XP lamp that I can smack right into my prayer, hopefully getting me to 43. Let's see about this prayer. 42? No, I'm so close. <laughs> Buff has handed off some rings and some cosmic runes so that I can make these rings of forging. This will be really nice for him trying to get that smithing level up. He's really just trying to make some upgraded crossbows for everybody. So this has been a very much a team effort trying to get this smithing level going. Yes! Tribal Ed coming in with the rings of forging. That's going to help me out so much with smithing. All right, boom. We can buy feathers. It's really, really important. I'm really tired. I'm going to buy a bunch of feathers and then go to bed. Trade them to my teammates so my teammates can fletch. All right, I'm trading over my feathers, which means I'm going to be done for the day. Anyways, uh, I've been playing for two days now. And it's day, end of day three. So I've been playing for about 16 hours a day, which is crazy. Moving on to the prayer life now. Uh, I'm using the, the pit and Shazian, the hill giant pit that has some big bone spawns in here. I'm going to go through all these bronze knives, go through all the iron knives, and then start using the iron crossbow again. Kind of see where that leaves me at range level while doing this. All right. I've got another training manual. Going to put this on hit points, and I believe it'll give me a level. Can't remember. Yeah, that's going to give me a level. Hell yeah. 51 HP. Sitting at 54 combat. All right, so I've got rings of forging and we've got a bunch of iron ore, 2300. I've got a lot of work to do. Taking a quick break from smithing to do some game shit with my friends. I am misclicking on this eagle eye. Oh man, this is bad. Here we are on the Lisbon Shaman's day three for complete scratch. 
very cool accomplishment. It's going to be a lot of fun killing these guys. Let's see what we can get. All right, wrap it up, Hill Giants. Uh, I got 26 in Soul Giant Heads, which from where I'm at is going to get me just over 40 prayer. It's like one head past 40 prayer. So that's going to be protect from magic and range. Back in my favorite place in the fourth dose dungeon, killing some baby red dragons for some prayer and grubby keys. I had to take a break from smithing because our Fletcher got offline, but I'll get back to it later. 43 prayer coming in with the first drop the red dehyde vamps it's going to be our best in slot vamps for the pvp fight very cool just finished up a little trip at shamans we got some cash a rune warhammer and a rune med helm pretty good stuff and to conclude day number three of the event we are ending off with level 60 range two days to go and this concludes day number three I managed to get prop mage after an entire day of grinding hill giants and I got almost 100 total levels along the way. Oh my god, this thing was a pain to capture. This better be something freaking good. It kept flying over the water. Mithril pickaxe. Alright, well, uh, I'll just randomly catch these when I can, I guess. Finally getting around to doing some combat. Uh, we're getting close to the last couple of days. I'm doing goblins instead of sand crabs because these actually drop in sold heads. They're only about 130 prayer XP each, but um, I mean, if I can get enough of them, it might come in handy in the long run. All right, guys, day number three is final. One day and 22 hours played so far. I was chasing a freaking electic and playing all the way down here. Couldn't even find it, but uh, I'm done for the day. Did some combat, as you guys know. Did the aerial fishing for 50 hunter and 50 fishing. And not too bad overall. I can now catch the implings whenever I find them. Got some combat work in. We're, we're looking good. 600 total level. Uh, I mean, I'll take it. Very nice. Day 3 has been concluded. Such a gigantic day of progress has been made. Sluffin getting 60 woodcutting for access to the woodcutting guild. And 50 hunter for a huge upgrade of blue dragon hide chaps for tribe 1 along with Tribe 2's buff getting 61 range while farming up a massive surplus of grubby keys and getting his protection prayers. Things have really kicked off for both tribes. These final two days will really cement which tribe will win. Okay guys, it is now day 4. The plans for today are to finish up getting overheads, getting 57 thieving to be able to open the grubby chest, and anything else after that, there's time. Hey, and that is 600 total level with 35 defense. All right, was doing some AFK sand crabs, got 230 strength, missed the level, but that means I can now equip the Adamant Warhammer if I wanted to. I can buy that from a shop near Konar Slayer Master, but I'm gonna move on to range. 55 range, such a gigantic level. 56 range, 35 prayer, and it's finally time to use a big portion of our insult heads. Hey, there it is. 40 defense finally achieved and there is 40 prayer pretty sure you guys all know this already as i'm pretty sure most of everybody in this event is doing this method there's 30 range i'm doing the insult head grind uh, this is what the tribe came up with grinding here paid off tremendously i have all the tattered pages already which saves me like a good i don't know three hours or so of killing hill giants there we go mini quest completed for a 10k xp lamp and that should get us 43 prayer what Oh, <laughs> I'm 82 short. Oh well, I'll just kill something real quick. 37 prayer, unlocking protect for magic, and a beautiful, beautiful 40 prayer. Holy cow, I've been waiting all freaking day for this pure puro to spawn. I was getting a little worried, not gonna lie, but now that it is here, I have to camp here until I get the gear I want from Electix, because if I leave... It might not come back, so we're going to be here for a while. Wish me luck, boys. To finish out the day, I'm going to get 57 thieving by hamster wheeling fruit stalls. Uh, start of day four. I just need food. I did a bunch of fishing and cooking for like an hour or so. Got a lot of total levels, but mostly because I need food for that one quest. So I'm going to go get that XP lamp and finally go get overheads in, on day four when I was one of them on day two. Boom. 10k on prayer. So I decided to do a little bit more mining just to get a little bit more ore for the smither. There's 40 range unlocked. Let's take a look at the hard leather shield. Not as good for defense. I'll use it for range, I guess not melee. All right, now we're on day number four. I'm pretty much done getting my combat related stats. So the last two days, I'm gonna focus on prepping the boys up for the final PVP fight. And then we're gonna do our very super secret strategy later on in the video and see if it works. Uh, honestly, Daryl's ranging surplus has been the most important store for me in tribal mode, without a doubt. All right, just about to hit 40 strength. There it is. And then I'm going to get to 40 attack. 
and go get the Shazian armor. No, Loom! <laughs> he just got stacked out, dude! Oh. Oh, I saw 42 prayer points and I thought I didn't get it, but there's Protect from Melee. Day 4, 50 hours played, finally have overheads. There we go. That is full Shazian tier 5 armor. I notice if you get the right rhythm, you can actually fletch during combat without any interruptions. So bolt making was definitely the way to go for efficiency. And there's 20 attack. Myth scimitar time. Now we got 20 strength. And there's 20 defense. And now we can wear the studded body, which gives a little bit more defense. Lum has some upgraded armor for me. Lum's been going hard in the crafting life this whole time, so a little bit better on the, the range bonus. Um, uh, having a decent high, or excuse me, I should say, decent max hit on range is going to be nice, but even a little bit of range accuracy makes a big difference, even on training. I'm going to try and help some of my guys in my group get the prayer level up. And getting prayer on this challenge is pretty tricky. It does take a while. But with installed heads, it's not that bad. The only problem with installed heads is that you need nature runes. They added these new things called necromancers that have a common drop rate of nature runes. And I'm going to kill for a little bit. Oh my god, I finally got one. I've been doing this for about 45 minutes already. Let me tell you guys, not being able to world hop in here with all of these freaking people. I, you can't see them right now because of the plugin we're using. But there's bots camping these electics. They just sit here and wait for them to spawn. And they're so hard to compete with. Second pair of chaps for the guys. Oh man, I've opened so many of these. I probably should be keeping track of it. Holy cow, another chat. Three of them. We're not getting any other items other than these freaking blue dehydes. I mean, I'm not complaining. I am curious to see how many of these I've caught so far. Uh, 146 electics and 74 essence. I'm trying to catch the essence ones for nature runes, which I'm not getting lucky on those. Finally, we get something good. Adam and Kite Shield. I mean, obviously, the, we got three blue dehyde chaps, but that's something new. Adam and Kite Shield. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the best in slot shield that we have access to. We'll do a couple more. Hopefully, I get lucky. Uh, let's see what we get. No freaking way, dude. As I'm talking about it, red dehyde vamps. Oh, my God. Dude, that's absolutely huge. That's going to help us out so much if somebody gets 60 range. All right, boys, I think I'm going to call it quits here. This is what I got so far. Four blue dehyde chaps, two red vamps. I did get another one. And then the Adam and Kite. The inventory is too full. I've been here for hours already. Uh, so I think I'm just going to take it. We're going to take what we got. It's going to help us out huge in the fight, I think. I, this is the best in slot gear that we have access to as far as range in the kite shield. So this is super nice. Now that we've got Protect for Magic, I've been slaying some undead druids. They drop a bunch of amulets and good items, which would be very helpful for the tribe. Sluffin just finished up a Pearl Pro session and got me a blue dehyde chap, which is a huge upgrade from what I have now. I got the other guy to log out, but this dude seems to be a bit stubborn, so I'm going to contest the stall until he gets tired and logs. He ended up leaving, so thanks, bro. These stalls are both mine now. Heck yeah, maze random guys. Let's see what we get. Ooh, yes, that is a ton of arrows. Cole is eh, and I need the feathers for crafting. I mean, fletching. 52 thieving? My fingers are killing me, man, but I gotta smash this out. I'm on the last soldier, the tier 5 Shazian soldier, which will give me the last piece of tier 5 armor, and then this grind is over. Tubby giving me a nice little upgrade, rune warhammer and rune chain. Oh, let's see how much defense upgrade this is. Oh my god, I literally just doubled my defense. Alright, I just killed over 100 of these necromancers, and the loot we got... Almost 100 nature runes, pretty good. It's now time to reveal one of our secret plans. We are going straight for mithril crossbows. I am power mining to help boost our smithers to get up there. And we've also been feeding him some rings of forging. And we just hit 50 fletching. Well, I was going to wait until 55 fletching to turn all the maples into longbows for the best XP. But I guess there's no point because all I need is 54 fletching. Which is the requirement for the maple stack, which is for the myth crossbow. So I just got 50 smithing. I made a couple mithril bars. That way I can make a Mithril Axe, because I want to give it to my Fletcher to help speed up his Fletching training. Mithril Crossbows are right around the corner. On the verge of 50 range, there it is actually. 50 range coming in hot and 550 total levels. Also heading back to Fire Giants, trying to get a Rune Skimmy is on the table. 53 Fletching, only one level to go before our major goal of 54. Oh baby. Some tank armor. Upgrades. Dude. Oh wait, I don't have 40 defense. God damn it. I can't even put it on. And here's the final level, Myth Crossbow incoming. 54 Fletching. Look at this level, dude. 
After hours and hours of grinding, trading, teamwork, we finally got the goddess smithing level he needs. Mithril limbs! You wanna meet me at... Oh, baby. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at us. Look at us, boys. Huh? Well, we're, we're all gone, not, not just you. That's the point. Look at this Mithril. Look at steel legs. Like steel legs. Steel like legs. And now it's time to make the first set of myth crossbows. Here we go. I'll, I'll trade Noct, the Stop. Mithril limbs. Look at this guy making Mithril crossbows for us. That is such a cool scene. Just look at it. It looks amazing. That I get to wield it first. 76 so range turns more. into 88. And there we go. Mithril crossbows obtained for the tribe. About to top off the level that I set out to do at the beginning. Gonna go grab some grubby keys from the fellers here in a second, but up to 57 thieving with that right there. And as you can see, grubby chest in the fourth those dungeon. So excited for that. This guy's about to say something. Look at him. He said, I'm looking hot. What are you doing here? I'm freaking trying to do He's probably like, what the hell is this dude freaking wearing? A steel bed helm, a strength amulet, and a leather body. First grubby key of the grind. Didn't take long at all. I've only been down here for a, a couple of minutes, so that was definitely pretty lucky on our part. That's going to be super helpful. Hopefully, I can snag a couple of more of these. Took a break from Undead Druids and got 35 thieving for some total levels and some more food. Yes, there it is. 57 thieving is achieved. I can now open the grubby keys and hopefully get some good stuff for the team. Okay, here we go. I got four keys. One of them came from Sluffin, and the other three are mine. Hopefully, we get some good stuff out of it. Ooh, we got super pots. That's really good. Blood runes are okay. We could sell that. Ooh, heck yeah, more more potions. That's great. Those are ranging potions too. That'll come in very handy. Okay, I got two more keys. Give me something good. Oh. Yes! Heck yeah, dude! Death runes! And sharks! Yes! Bunch of ranging potions as well, super defense. That is great. Those death runes are gonna be so handy for fire blast. Saves me so much GP. A little bit of wood cutting and fire making for total levels as well. And Tribal Sloth coming in with one of the biggest upgrades we can get during the competition. Blue Dragon Hide Chaps. Looking good. There's just one more thing left to do with the boys all here. Let's open all our grubby keys. I think we have just over 20 total grubby keys. Thank you, thank you. Look. Check this number out. Guess how many I have, Lamp. Guess. Um, seven. Thirteen. Oh. Come on. Yes! Oh, what is that? Not even Next one. Okay. Next one. Yeah. Oh, crystal key. That's good back for you. More restores. That's good. More restores. That's good. Oh, how much were those 20 snaps worth? Is that like 160? Nice. Oh, oh snaps. baby. Bruce. Oh, yeah, it's lit. And a ranging Ew. potion. It's and lit. Yes. Nice. Okay. okay. Oh, oh my god. god. Bruce no, and okay. blood runes. Only showed our best keys we got. The other keys were just pretty average loot. Nothing too special. But yeah, we have Bruce. Let's go. I'm currently just training my range and defense with long range. That's three in the bank now. Three grubby keys. This will get me 40 prayer, which is going to be protect from range. I only have one more in sold head, so we're not getting to 43 yet. 55 range and 575 total level coming in hot. All right, I've just finished buying a bunch of cheese, flour, and tomato for pizzas. We have pineapples as well. So we can make 111 of them, which is a lot of food. I also have brews and restores, which Molex P Lamp, he got them from the grubby chest. So for the fight, I'm gonna have a ton of food. Look at all these sharks, these potatoes, and then I'll have pineapple pizzas, which heal 22. So I'm pretty much all kitted out for the fight. Just got a genie lamp. I just threw it onto farming because I was so close to 30 farming right there. 65 fletching, which means we can now get you short bows for the entire tribe. That is absolutely huge. The other tribe is using myth C bows which i'm pretty sure these u short bows are going to out dps them i uh, could be wrong i don't know too much about pvp but i guess we'll find out at the end fight uh, this is going to be not only an upgrade to the bow but as well as the arrows the u short bow can use rune arrows so that's going to be super huge for the final fight and that's going to wrap up day four guys it was a pretty good day some pretty good loot from gubby keys hopefully tomorrow we smash everything out day four completed what a day pushing us into the final 24 hours of gameplay has tribe one done enough to stay ahead or has tribe two's teamwork been the deciding factor so far in this competition will tribe one's two tomes of fire come in clutch and keep them in the lead for total bank value or has tribe two done just enough to secure that position as well lots of questions and one last day left 
Time is ticking, and we will soon find out. Now that it's nearing the end of the competition, it's time we finally start training our combat stats up. I'd love to get my defense level up as high as possible because I know I'm probably going to get piled in the final PvP battle. I don't really know if I can kill this thing. This is for the uh, Tale of Righteous quest. This 10% chasing favor it probably would have been faster just to do the freaking bandages. Boom. Completed. That is 59 magic, which means I can now use Fire Blast, which is going to be super useful in conjunction with the Tome. Normally the Fire Blast hits up to 16, but with the Tome of Fire, it can go all the way up to 24. There it is, guys. Tale of Righteous completed 8k coins, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I literally need every little bit of GP we can get our hands on at the moment. 100% Shazy in favor obtained. Now it's time to get the armor. There it is. That is the last piece. I now have full tier 5 Shazian armor. Welcome to day number 5, aka the final day. Plan today is to do our big secret that I've been holding in for so long. Get level 40 defense and then finish getting up all this mithril ore to make into mithril bolts. 50 range. Okay, now it's time to get to Arceus Favor. That way I can use and sold heads. And my goal is 40 prayer. I've gotten 40 strength and I'm gonna keep going past 40 strength. I do wanna switch to defense. I'm not gonna stop at 30 defense where I'm at right now. I wanna get more defense levels. All right, I went back to some Hill Giant life. I've really been just jumping around different combat training styles, right? Uh, I went back to Hill Giants because of prayer life, but uh, I got 58 range. Out here meeting at the beginning of day five now is going to be the final little stretch here. I'm going to work on my range a little bit further right now up to 34. Just open a bunch of grubby keys. There should be a clip of that. If not, the entire loot will be up on screen now. Pretty decent overall. I was uh, happy with the turnout in terms of the keys. All right, there we go. That's 60% favor, which will unlock the Archaeus book. So that'll be helpful. Some more magic defense. 37. I'm probably going to train up even higher. I want 50. I want a good solid foundation so that way I'm not getting slapped by um, Fire Blast with the Tome of Fire. Update on the mining progression. It's taken a while, but it's definitely worth it. 650 coal, 95 removal lore, and we also got some iron ores to make some steel bolts to do our little secret PVM. All right, there you go, Mr. Buff. Oh, we are so close. We're literally on the brink of finishing up our plan. I'm going to finish smelting up all these myth ores for the team. Tubby went ahead and mined over 100 myth ores and tons of coal. This is our plan coming together making the mithril bolts then we're gonna put something special on them and i don't think that the other team is gonna see this coming okay so here we are on the final day you can see i'm working i'm a fishing and i'm a cooking i'm just trying to get in some last minute total level gains let's check it out i should be getting like 11 xp yeah these books aren't even gonna give me level three so i'm gonna get a few magic levels i'd say at least level 10. well there's 20 magic I think we should actually get 25 here before we leave. 25 magic, let's go. Ooh, let's go. We got our first 20 books of knowledge to use. And we went from 25 magic all the way to 30, that easy. And there's 60 favor, that actually didn't take too long. But now we can actually do in sold heads. Didn't think I'd have enough runes, but we got it. 41 magic. And there's the final goal, it came real quick. 40 prayer. Ooh, there it is. 56 fletching. Yeah, if you come to know the pub, it has what's called a lizard kicker, which boosts your range by four. They even got stews. How much are those? 20 coins? I wouldn't quite want only 58 range for the average fire giant grind that I'm going to do. 58 range is a little low, and these are going to be slow kills, in other words. But I'm getting kills, so fingers crossed. This was not a part of my original game plan, but I just got 100% Piscalieri's favor. We needed this to access the food shop. Uh, which sells swordfish. That's going to be our main source of food for the in-game fight. Like I said, I wasn't planning on doing this, so this is going to slow down my goals that I did have for the account down tremendously. I can already tell it's going to take a long time. But I will say, though, that I am impressed with this account for being able to do shamans at this low of a range level. 40 attack, unlocking us our rune dagger. And 40 defense, allowing us to use our rune med. All right, sweet. I just got 13 and sold heads from Chaos here because he didn't have enough time to grind out 43 prayer. Just doing some quick crafting with the buckets of sand I obtained from doing the favor. Uh, we need a couple crafting levels for some armor. Hopefully I can achieve it. Who knows? I'm trying my best. 
There is 20 crafting, which means I can now craft sapphire rings. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have anybody online to actually get the mold. And I only have one ring from Bird's Nest, so hopefully somebody else got some from Bird's Nest. First KC, what do we get? Air runes. Oh well, at least I'm able to kill them. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, second KC4. Nothing? Oh, oh, we got talisman. I just checked the wiki and the Xerix talisman drop from these guys is 1 in 250. Holy crap, I got spoon. That is like the second kill in. All right, here's the shop. Uh, one thing I just now realized is I'm only stuck on one world, so I'm going to have to wait for this to restock. I don't have time for this. I really don't. I don't know how I'm going to get enough food for the entire squad. I don't know. This is the last day, guys. We don't have much time left, so I'm going to have to figure a way. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> dude. A rune warhammer. Heck yeah. I'd prefer the chain body, but this is really nice too. And I think that's all I'm going to do now. I have a bunch of other stuff to do. If I have some more free time, I might come back, but I really want to save my anti-poisons for the final fight because I know they're going to have those emerald bolts eat. It's the final day of the event. So now it's time to reveal our big boy secret we've been holding on to for a long time now we are gonna kill brutal blue dragons yes and we're gonna do this by bolting the dragon twice having the aggro go to that guy and then the other tribe member is gonna bolt it twice again and the aggro is gonna reset back to him brutal black dragons are gonna be so good they drop rune items addy legs and the blue dehyde body we're looking for if we can get a blue dehyde body like that's it there's no way in hell the other team are winning we're just gonna be completely completely unstoppable Finish it. that might be it yes! yeah that's your job that's got to be your job <gasps> room for helmet no f boom oh my god let's go that's glorious let's do this again that should be it there we go yes nice that's good luck job. come on Addy legs nice no f no way yes you spoon what'd you get i don't want to talk about it <laughs> No, no, it's not good. It's not good. Look at this. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. Ha! Make it bring make it bring that into the fight, dude. I mean it kinda fits the theme, you know. Purple? Purple? Purple, purple. <gasps> what is it? What is it? Yes! Look at me, baby. Yes. Look at me. Wait, I can't even wear it. Oh my god, no way. Oh my god. There it is! Dude, per there it's it a is. purple dude. No way, we just got a blue dehyde body. That's it, the other team stands zero chance now. We have won the PvP officially. There's no way they're gonna beat us. Gotta be a good chunk from- Oh, 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 where those points came from. Cause you just lost some. Boom, Skimmy, woo, get out of here. Easy point. So checking in on the final day, just a couple hours before we go ahead and get this thing going. Account's looking pretty good at 52 range, gonna push it a little bit further here at Sand Crabs, use the rest of my bolts and whatnot. Um, beyond that, I have two insult heads that will get me up to 40 prayer. So feeling really good, looking really good. Okay, this is big gaming right here. Insult heads while making mithril bolts. There's our first kill, jeez. 650 XP. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna switch to range because melee's not really good at my level here. Back to Lisbon Shaman's I go. Good luck, me. First drop come in. The rune chain body. Pretty nice tank armor. Oh, another rune chain body. No way. Let's get it. Rune Warhammer coming in. Very nice PvP weapon, maybe. Another rune chain body on the floor. Very fat and juicy. We are setting up the boys really tanky for the PvP fight. Alright, I'm pretty much done with shamans now. I've killed over 100 of them. Oh, level 42 magic coming in. But yeah, here's a little gotten from over 100 shamans. 111 killed. Bank value stuff and some gear for the PvP fight. And one of the biggest levels for me for this entire competition. 43 prayer. And there's the cooking level. 45 cooking for swordfish. I'm going to burn a whole lot of these things, so... That means I'm going to have to buy even more than what I need. All right, this is going to get me to 42 prayer, so just shy of 43, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to go back to Giants, which is fine because I still need some range levels. Man, my heads is... The luck I'm getting on these heads is insane. 
Uh, three more heads, that's enough for 43 prayer. I'm not even 50 range yet, so I'm going to stay here a little bit longer. I'm not going to get 60 range for the vamps. I just do not have enough time, which is a bit unfortunate, but at least we'll have the chaps. There she is, boys. 43 prayer protect from melee has been achieved. Ta-da! 20 hunter to boost up my total levels. And 100% Piscarillia's favor, just so I can buy a whole bunch of raw fish and cook them up for supplies for the fight. Wow, that took a lot of prayer flicking, but I finally got almost the entire set of the tier 5 armor except for the legs which is fine because the blue dehyde chaps is actually better than the legs so i'm not even going to worry about getting it overall we're looking pretty good right now i'm not gonna lie just doing some last minute things i need some money badly to buy rune arrows and food so i'm gonna sell what i can to the general store here check this out guys last minute unfortunately i did not get this as fast as i wanted to i was hoping to do a couple of rounds of this but I should be able to enter Tithe Farm with this Garden Pie. And there is 700 total level. And there is 40 strength, which means I could finally wield the Rune Warhammer. Man, that's so unfortunate. I could have got like 20 extra total levels from Tithe Farm if I had the time to do this. So originally, our plan for the PvP fight was to make Emerald Bolt C and poison our enemies. But we just couldn't get enough emeralds. So instead, we are making Sapphire Bolts Enchanted. And these have a 5% chance of smiting our opponents. We feel like this might be good because we really didn't see the other team do many grubby keys. And we feel like they don't really have much prayer. 5% chance, it does sound really tiny. But if 7 or 8 of us are bolting the other team, then that's huge. If we can smite someone with a time of fire, that's an easy... Oh, this is big. I just got the sapphires. Gonna make some sapphire bolts. And incoming all the sapphire bolts we have put up together. I made all the mithril bolts. We gave all the guy our sapphires, and then he cut all the sapphires and I put them all into tips to attach to the bolts. Currently, I am enchanting the sapphire bolts. This is our secret tech weapon. And just look at that. Over 1,000 Sapphire Enchanted Bolts. We are finally done with everything we need for the fight. So at the very least, I'm going to get this last range level and we're going to call it a night. Woo, 51 range. 52 range, let's go. And there's my final level right there, 53 range. It's going to wrap it up for me. It's less than 11 hours from now. Yo, I just got a long bone, bro. Very solid. The combat stats are looking good. I'm running out of time to do really any training. So I do want to get that 40 defense going and maybe some more strength levels. But this is almost the final stats that I'm gonna have. Alright, so now I can just sit back, relax, kill undead druids, hopefully get some defense amulets for the team. Ooh, we got an amulet of strength. Oh, I wasn't recording. I Dude, I got the defense amulet. I was saying it. I was saying it, dude. I swear to god, I got a defense amulet. Really? Yeah. Defense level coming in, level 50. Another amulet of defense. That makes six. Back to back. Now a grubby key. Definitely got spooned at the Undead Druids. I killed 84 and I got a grubby key as well as a ton of amulets for the entire team. So we're looking pretty solid right now. Last level I think I'll be getting for this week right here should be 40 prayer whenever I can, I can hit please. There we go. All right, so gonna hop up there to 40 prayer. Now can protect from missiles and whatever else. Nothing really important there. Most important though, range prey. And the final bank is ending with 1.43 mil, with a total play time of 2 days and 15 hours. Also 52 combat, 581 total level, and almost 1.6 million XP. And these are the final stats. This is the last head for 43 prayer. Uh, it would be really nice to jump to 44 prayer. To be fair, getting that eagle eye would make a good difference. Final piece of Shazian armor here. For the most part, this is really this is our best looking armor for the fight. All right, the competition has come to an end. Here are the total level, the stats. Here's the bank, 863K, not too shabby. Uh, I have some upgrades coming. I think I have a rune chain, a rune full helm, addy legs that I'm gonna get given to me because I think I'm going to be tanking and focusing or getting focused. Three brews, uh, the guy has some pizzas on the way, some sharks. Final gameplay time is 60 hours on the dots. So that's what, like 12 hours a day averaged, which is pretty good because I didn't really play the last day and a half i am looking like an absolute chad walking out to the beach with my tribal mask and my rune warhammer about to slay these sand crabs and get 50 strength all right so i'm finishing up this last strength level don't mind the gear that's 50 strength this tournament has taken a lot out of me it's been five days straight almost and we're coming up to the last few hours so i'm gonna go ahead and try and get some sleep 
But in the meantime, I'm gonna splash. All right, I'm gonna buy some more runes. All right, here we are at the seagulls. Negative 66 magic attack. I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna AFK these and I'll see you guys when I wake up. After that last clip, I spent the remainder of the last bit of time in the competition training combat. With two days and eight hours total gameplay time within five days, that's quite a bit of time. We have 40 attack, 40 strength, 52 defense, 59 range, 43 prayer, and 50 magic at a combat level of 60 with 466 total level. I had to say all that very fast so it wasn't too long, but I'm incredibly excited to see what the other team has come up with and how competitive this PvP battle is about to be. Let's go. So I do have like 26 minutes left on the timer, but I'm going to call it here for the tournament. I'm satisfied with what I got. I have 718 total. I can't really tell you the bank because I gave a lot of it to another person. But when the overall, you know, total bank value comes out, it'll be in there. This was a super fun grind. Let's see how the PvP fight goes. All right, at this point, really all I'm doing is just getting whatever final little bits of combat stats that I can get before uh, the fight happens. I did want to switch over to defense. Uh, I stopped at 59 range, though I'm going to squeeze out 60. I wanted to make sure I grabbed 40 defense, though. The extra 10 defense levels, I feel like, are, are a very big deal during the fight. All right, I'm wrapping up 40 defense here. I did squeeze out the extra, like, 6k XP I needed for range. I actually went over 40 defense, huh? I can just be running away now. The bank value ended up almost 1.1 mil, a little under 1.1, I should say. Uh, it's a little bit less value than Atome of Fire, which they had a couple of teammates pull Atome of Fire, apparently. So I did what I could for bank value, but I'm not exactly sure how that's going to round up at the end. Uh, 57 combat, 617 total level, as you can see. Two days, 20 hours played in the five days, so a little bit over half the time. That's that's the account logged out, and now we just wait for the fight. All right, so 12.59, Litchi ends in one more minute. Had an absolute blast of this. It was so much fun. I really want to do something like this again. I can't wait for the PvP. Uh, total level, 6.76, I'll take it. We should be ahead of the other team by a fat mile. We just played better. I don't know what to say. There we go, no fishing levels at all. We just played way better. All right, there we go. 1 p.m. That's everyone's accounts done. We log out and yep, that's it. I'm also ending on a 2.1 mil bank value. Pretty good. The other team did get two times of fires and I would say 2.1 mil without getting a good time. Very generous. I think most of it came from shamans as well. Yeah, 520k. I hit 47 magic and I think that's going to be good enough for the final fight. There we go, 65 range, just one more level, and my account is basically complete. I'm gonna quickly turn in these Winter Todd pieces for some burnt pages to add to my overall bank value. And there we go, 150 pages, not bad. There it is, 66 range. That's gonna give me a max hit of a 22 in the fight. I'm gonna try and squeak in a few total levels and call it a night. Time played, it's kind of embarrassing, but I had fun, man, leave me alone. Three days, 12 hours, Jesus, I don't want to talk about it. So on the other team, they got two times of fires, and look at this, neither of them got 59 magic, they completely forgot to get 59 magic, so they're going to be using times of fires with Firebolt. Jesus Christ, how did they forget? Wow, look at this buff guy, completely stacked, I wonder where he got his items from. Ooh! So my total gameplay was four days and five Five hours I'm I'm not too happy with myself that is a lot of time to invest in a game out of five days that's pretty pathetic I'm pretty sure I have the most hours played of anyone um, I skipped the gym skipped hanging out with my wife and my dog for this so uh, I really hope it pays off I, I, I definitely think that we're gonna win we have a really good team we had good teamwork and better gear uh, I think I think we got this in the bag um, had a lot of fun though. Ain't gonna lie, I would come back and do this again in a heartbeat. It was a lot of fun. Day five is finished, and that marks the last time any tribe member can level up or train their accounts. This is the moment it all comes down to, the final judging. The winning tribe will have to win in at least two of the three choosing factors. Total tribe bank value, total tribe skill level, and the final PVP battle. The tribes are ready, and the PvP battle is about to begin. Let's get right into it. Listen, right. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna target back, and then when Dust runs in, we're gonna three two one bolt him and hope he's not praying. If, even even right. if we don't kill Dust, we're still gonna pile right. him. All right, get back. Good luck, fellas. There he is. I got a fifteen. Oh. All right, is everyone ready? Is everyone ready? 
All right, yeah. three, yep. two, one, dust. Dust, 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 dust. Boom! Steal Polo, get him, get him. Yeah, seven on dust. Who are they piling? Who are they piling? I'm not getting uh, hit. Uh, they're the piling lump. Okay. Put your tank gear on lump. Is dust just running? Bro, we're gonna run <laughs> That's fine, he's gonna run out of energy too. I'm out of I'm out of energy. I right, just leave him, leave him, go back, go back, go back. He's he's got he's got enough food. Yep. Back range, back up. Right Are we piling? Here we piling, Slough. Yeah, Slough's slough. twelve HP. Alright, Slough. Slough's praying wrong. He's getting worked. Slough's about to die. Yeah, I guess Slough's dead. Is. Uh, get Kai's. Oh, chaos, chaos, chaos. Beck, wait, Beck. He's a mage gear. He's a mage gear. Oh, yeah, where's Beck? Beck, 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 Big hits. big hits, big hits, big hits, big hits. I'm fucking bolting him for his pro. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's that? 20? 19? Coming in on Bro, melee. I can't hit him. Melee. I'm just gonna bolt him. Run. Melee. Bro, <laughs> should have gotten freezes. Alright, fuck it, I'm bolting him. I'm out of running, Jay. I got a long range. <laughs> Alright, I'm on melee. Melee. I'm on melee as well. Oh, come on, he's not praying. Come on. He's pray switching. Wait, where's, where's everyone else? Oh, why'd you guys kill XMO? He's the one AFK. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was doubling up on me, man. Alright, just get Kai. I gotta get Kai's, dude. I can't. You guys can get him back. I can't get. I can't get back. Ooh. Oh, big bolt. Big bolt. Bro, I'm not even gonna use any food. <laughs> oh, they're gonna focus me. I have. No, I, have I haven't touched. Uh, Kai's food. dead? Look well, like the dust guy, just... he just ran away. Yeah, keep you need to keep on back, everyone keep ranging back. Where's Burke? Can he need... oh I see you. I see him. I think he's out of food. Yeah. I'm, not gonna use I'm using we're, we're using melee on him, I took that poison dagger with me. Alright, he's down, he's down. Right, where's Dust? This is hide Dust and seek. Just went to go fucking high, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's literally hide and seek. <laughs> Look at it, we're all walking. Man, this is tough. Oh, <laughs> Dust, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> Come out of play! Everyone spread out. Found him, boys. He's around here Get somewhere. Line, <laughs> <laughs> He's just saving up run energy so he can run away. Oh, I'm pissed. Everyone fing like gank fuck out me that entire fight. Did they all oh, eat pizzas? Yeah. Where is he? <laughs> what the fuck? I found him! He's yeah. in the bottom corner. Southwest. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yeah, south southwest, southwest. Southwest, Southwest. Oh my god, he's just gonna run us around, isn't he? <laughs> I'm not shit. Oh, yes, he yeah, is. he is. <laughs> he's running up north. Oh my, Long okay. Range. <laughs> Long range. Long I'm gonna range, just, boys. I'm gonna run, We're buying a stamina pot after this. Oh my god. Hold on back. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> we got some strange fruit for now. He's <laughs> gone. I'm just gonna tank this. We got survival. Good fight, GG. Oh. Bro, I didn't even need a food. Woo! We did it! <laughs> we won! Did anyone else get like attacked there? I literally ate all my pizzas. I was just getting absolutely ripped. For, like, I, I, did, I didn't I, even I eat. I didn't, I didn't, didn't even eat. eat. You were getting fully stocked. Yeah, I ate one oh. food. Why me though? Am I, the, am I the weak link here or something? How the f do not kill Dust at the beginning? Yeah. All right, best of three. Round two. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, Wasting his wrong energy. Alright, right. Potter, right. piling dust, dust again, because he's got, you know, 59 magic and a time of fire, so he's scary. Okay, I thought he wasn't gonna throw Oh my point. god, he's already half HP. Oh, oh my. Big Bolt they is high, Johnny. Me. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my god, Big Bolt? He's dead! Oh, I had 20! He had 20! I did, that was my 20, my 20. Are we on there? Get back, 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 back. 
yeah, in the I'm back, in the back. back, south, all the way Dude, south. This, this spear is ripping through. <laughs> it's lost on Ed. You can't run. You can't. Run. I mean, you can try, but. Oh my god, I'm f***ing through his prayer, bro. It's bloody hard, buddy. Oh my god, is that twelve for prayer? He's Eleven. He's yeah. <laughs> Suck rune, rune dagger, boys. Wait, we lost someone. Someone died on our team. Yeah, they piled the Johnny. Was it? Yeah, bro. They smoked. They found the shittiest gear. Poor Johnny. <laughs> uh, Kai Chaos is useless. You can't even keep up. Okay. Oh, who at eighteen? Damn. Oh, it's like Me. a ten. Oh, another big bolt. Twelve. Another big bolt. Nine. Oh my. Yeah. Keep the prey belly on, buddy. Oh no, I hit zero. Dude, your warhammers are working in. Yo, make sure you guys are full HP. Yeah. Is he dead? Uh, Alright, get slough, get slough. Oh, wait, and a yellow wait, wait, cape, wait, yellow cape slough. Oh, oh, big bolt, massive bolt. 21. <laughs> oh my. Oh, he's out of range, eh? GG. 12 through pro? Oh, yes, they nice. got one now. Another 12? Dude, my warhammer owns. Big hit. He's out of prey. Oh, we smited him. The bolts, bro. They came in clutch. 14. Nice. Wait, wait who's even left? Uh, Chaos and Maximus. Chaos. Yeah. chaos, Chaos. Oh my god, we're, fing, we're all walkers, look at us. Oh, Bro, no. my- Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where's XML? Someone f***ing destroyed that guy. Run! He's got no overheads! Oh, I've got my oh, energy! I don't think I've even hit a bolt yet. Bro, my range has been destroying, oh my god. Long range, long range! Has long range hit him? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I just smacked him. Dude, I, I can't reach him, you're long range. He's gone, he's out of rent though. <laughs> My god, where is he? Spread, spread out, out, boys. Spread out, spread oh, out. God, let's spread out again. I think we need to head diagonally northwest. Where is he? Oh, lamp found him. <laughs> uh, south where the portal is. Oh, I can't even attack. He's walking. Attack He's got no run, Jay. He's all the way southeast. All right, I'm going oh, big hit. 17. All right, P. Oh, 12. 16. Look at Johnny. Oh. Look at Johnny over there all alone. Big hit. Should be dead. Big hit. GG. Let's go! That's it. Hey, they got one. There we go. We won on bank value on total level as well, so it didn't matter anyway about the fight. After a vigorous five days, each tribe invested hundreds of hours worth of combined gameplay time for this final decision. The final winning tribe is... Tribe 2. Congratulations Tribe 2 on your win of 1 billion GP. Your teamwork and planning was key to winning this challenge. Congratulations again and enjoy your winnings. And thank you to everyone who's watched this far. Make sure to subscribe and if this video gets enough likes, Jagex would potentially give us our own world for the next competition.